stay true to the play. Trust, trust the vehicle, as they say. You know, get on board and enjoy the ride. Um, yes, it needs a little steering occasionally, and, uh, and uh, it certainly needs an agreed way of approaching it. But uh, there are two major faults that occur when I see other productions of my work. One is that um, um, the, 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 somewhere along the line, the director and or the actors loses confidence. Uh, in, in the fact that it, it works uh, and uh, they try and give it a helping hand, you know. So I say to actors in my place, yeah, by all means get on the bus, but stop waving out of the windows at everybody. Uh, Hello, I'm here. So it has to matter. It has to matter. My characters are very much, I have a sort of knack and it's not nothing I de developed or, or, or um, I've just discovered it, it exists in me that I write people that people in the audience tend to recognize. They say, oh my God, that man lives next door to me. They don't often recognize themselves because that, that will be far too personal. But I live with a monster like that <laughs> and, uh, and so on and so on. And I keep ringing bells for people. But if you, if you, if you make the person less true, uh, keep to the truth of the play, then it, then the comedy uh, uh, will emerge. I mean, there's a strange phrase that's grown up in the last few years, certainly in England, physical theatre. And I go, physical theatre? What the hell's that? Uh, all theatre's physical. I mean, Private Lives is physical. There's a huge punch-up in that. That's physical theatre. They both try and kill each other in the middle. Uh, and uh, so... You know, I think it's it's a sort of misnomer that is um, that suggests that there's no talking. <laughs>